After breakfast and a little time to rest, after the exhilarating morning of the Via Della Rosa and Mass at Calvary and in the tomb, we boarded the bus and headed back to the old city to go in St. Stephen's Gate to visit the Church of St. Anne and then to the Western Wall. This is a good group. They stay together pretty well and very cooperative. We're on our way to St. Anne's Church to see the birthplace of Mary and the pools of Bethesda where Jesus performed a miracle in John chapter 5. closer to the temple, and they decided to compromise on these two pools. And that's when normally sources of water are in the pools of Bethesda, where Jesus healed the crippled man in John chapter 5. Amr is explaining this. of Our Lady. The story of how that happened is in a writing from the first half of the second century called the Proto-Evangelium of James. And in this writing that all Christians knew about in the first and the second, third century, and they held it in high esteem, and it's the document from where we get the names Joachim and Anna, because those names are not in the Bible, they come from the Proto-Evangelium of James. There's a story about how Mary, uh, Joachim and Anna were without children and they were elderly and the people wouldn't even let them come into the temple because they said you've been cursed by God without children therefore God showed his displeasure to you and if you don't want to the temple by the way was just on the other side when you throw the stone into them that's how close it was and so um, Joachim went out into the desert and he said I'm not coming home until you answer my prayers I want a child and an angel came to him and said, you're going to have a daughter, you're going to have a baby. At the same time, his wife Anna went into a garden, probably near here, saw the birds in the tree with a nest, the baby birds. And she said, why is it that the, baby, the birds can have babies, that you bless them with children and not me, your servant? And the angel came to her in the garden and said, you will have nine months of babies. O Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. bus around to the Dung Gate where we got off and walked into the Western Wall. This is the most holy place for the Jews. Above this wall the temple once stood and the Holy of Holies. 
The women went on one section, and all of us men went down to another section. And these are two of our guys praying at the Western Wall. Okay, this is our group approaching the wall. We go right up here and pray. After a very moving morning, walking the Via Dolorosa and uh, celebrating the crucifixion and resurrection of Jesus, we took a tour of the Holy Shroud exhibit here at Notre Dame, which everybody has always said is amazing, especially after having walked the Via Dolorosa, where they have all of the interesting facts about the shroud and prove without a shadow of doubt that the shroud was actually covering the body of our Lord. walking through the streets of the old city of Jerusalem to get to the Latin Patriarchate where we have a meeting with the bishop. She's in the land are found in Palestine, Israel and Jordan. These are the three components, main components of the diocese. We have to add also Cyprus, which is part of the diocese, but it's a different area, politically, geographically, economically, linguistically. So now I don't speak about Cyprus, I speak about what we call generally the Holy Land, which is on the both uh, banks of the River Jordan, Jordan, Palestine, and Israel. I believe that although we are a minority, we have a vibrant church. If you go on Sunday, any Sunday, in even a small parish, you feel that you are in a strong community where uh, the, field, the church is, is filled with people, where people love to come to church. We have a choir, we have uh, mass servers like you. Not in the same quality, but we try to. <laughs> <laughs> Bishop Shomali talked a lot about the new evangelization and was very impressed with Catholic Digest and its vast readership. He was very happy to meet Robin. After our wonderful and very personal uh, time with the bishop, we walked back to our hotel from the Patriarchate and had a good dinner and everybody enjoys talking. We've become a big family now. And afterwards, Father Franz made available confession for anybody who wanted to have confession. It's always a great thing to do while on a pilgrimage. There is also indulgences available. <laughs>